Drawing Merchant Circle Diagram Merchant Circle Diagram is used to find out magnitudes and components of the cutting forces that a single point cutting tool experiences during machining. Now what will you do with those forces? They are helpful to find out parameters like power consumption which is required if you are planning to machine workpieces on a large scale like big industries do. We analyze the orthogonal cutting scenario in this video where cutting edge is perpendicular to the direction of motion of workpiece and determine all the forces involved. Single point cutting tools being used for turning are characterized by having only one cutting force but that force is resolved into two or three components for the ease of analysis. Here we resolve R into Px, Py and Pz components in x, y and z directions respectively. We add Px and Py through vector addition and get Pxy. So we have Pxy and Pz forces in a plane. These forces can be measured during machining using a dynamometer. In orthogonal cutting, when the chip flows along the orthogonal plane Pi O, the components Pz and Pxy and their resultant R1 remain in orthogonal plane. As the chip flows on the rake face, it experiences friction and so we have friction force F and normal force N on the cutting tool. The resultant of these forces is R1. PS is the shear force which is essentially required to separate the chip from the workpiece and PN is the force normal to shear force that inherently exists with it. The resultant of these forces is R. Now the chip is in a state of equilibrium and that means while machining, the workpiece and the tool are fixed and hence they cannot move. So the resultant forces R and R1 must be equal. And that's how we use equilibrium to combine all these six forces inside one circle. It is called merchant circle. We can use merchant circle diagram to develop different equations relating different forces and find the unknown forces with the help of known forces, reasonably quick and reasonably accurate. But the disadvantage is that merchant circle diagram is valid only for orthogonal cutting processes and it is based on single shear plane theory. Steps to find cutting forces by constructing merchant circle diagram. The forces Pxy and Pz can be measured so we know the magnitude and direction of these forces. Draw these forces perpendicularly on the paper by choosing a suitable scale. For example, if Pz is 100 Newton then draw a 10 cm line so that the scale is 10. Similarly, if Pxy is 150 Newton, then draw a 15 cm line. Find the resultant R. Draw the merchant circle with R as the circle's diameter. Draw the friction force F at an angle gamma to the vertical line until it intersects the circle. Gamma is the rake angle. Draw the normal force perpendicular to the friction force. This line will meet the other end of the R. For determining PS and PN, we need beta, which is the shear angle. It is calculated using this formula. Tan beta is equal to R cos gamma by 1 minus R sin gamma. Here, R is equal to T0 by Tc, where T0 is the depth of cut and Tc is the thickness of chip. Draw PS at an angle beta to the horizontal and draw PN normal to it. Since we have drawn Pz and Pxy using a scale before, we can multiply the lengths of other forces with that scaling factor and obtain the approximate values of those forces. The coefficient of friction is obtained by dividing the friction force F with the normal force N. Cutting power consumption Pc can be determined from Pc is equal to Pz into Vc plus Px into Vf. Here, Vc is the cutting velocity and Vf is the feed velocity. Now, Px and Vf are pretty small and they can be neglected. So, power consumption is Pc is equal to Pz into Vc. Specific cutting energy is denoted by capital U and it is equal to Pc by material removal rate. Now, we determine specific cutting energy. If we can reduce this parameter, then overall energy spent will be less for more work done. This is merchant circle diagram analysis and finding cutting forces. Hope you understood. If you did then please drop a like and subscribe and have a nice day.